Hi everyone, this is Marquisha. I'm super excited to share with you guys another card that I created. Um, this card that I created is one of the easel cards. And let me go ahead and show you the products that I used to create this card. I used this stamp here, the La La Land um, Top Hat Steampunk Marcy. I think she is so cute, so I used um, her. The paper that I used was My Mind's Eye, and this is... Um, I want to say the Snapshot Highlights um, collection, but it has some very cute papers here. So let me just show you some of the papers here. They're very bright colors, and so since I was going with more of a steampunk, this kind of uh, mimicked gears to me, so I used that one. And so, again, some really, really fun papers. Okay. So let me go ahead and show you guys my card that I created. And this is the card that I created. So super cute. Um, it's out of the box for me. I normally do shabby chic, but I love, love, love the way this card turned out. So on the top of the card, um, I colored Miss Marcy with my um, Copics. I added some glossy accent to her glasses, as I always do to kind of mimic a glass effect. I added some sticker wings here and they were from a collection a sticker pack collection that I had um, on her hat here I added a uh, metal flower and if you notice on the on the stamp she has like a buckle at the top so since I was steampunking her up I wanted to add some more metal um, to the card and at the bottom here I have two figlery pieces here I got these from Butterbee Scraps um, here is a locket, and then here is a um, butterfly. And what I did with these metal pieces, I first put a little gesso on them, and then I added this paint here, which is the Americana Sea Breeze paint, and um, kind of give it a little bit more color. Um, after I put that on there, I kind of wished I didn't. I liked it a little bit better when it was just all the metal, um, but I'm okay with it. On the flower, I also added some of that um, sea breeze paint. This flower here, I want to say it's a recollection flower. I'm not really sure. I've had it in my stash a little while, but um, I did um, add that. And then at the bottom, I just added a piece of black lace. And again, I'm not sure if I said some cheesecloth throughout the um, card. I put some splatters of liquid pearls just on the card there. And you probably won't be able to pick it up on the top part, so I'll lift the card up. I embossed the top of this card with the Tim Holtz embossing folder. And it's one of the steampunk um, embossing folders. And so I also distressed the edges with some vintage photo. Just to, you know, distress it, kind of give it a grungy um, look. And then what I like about this card is it lifts up and you can put your sentiment. So this can actually sit as a display, you know, on, um, you know, someone's desk or, you know, on their um, craft table. And um, I also added this chain here, which was one of the stickles, uh, stickers, I'm sorry, with a little um, cross down at the bottom and it has a little um, faux diamond in the center. So I like the way that turned out. And then at the bottom here, um, I added this out of the sticker collection and as well as these corners, um, some glue there, these corners here out of that sticker collection. And this black border that I have around, I cut that out with my Elegant Edges um, Cricut cartridge. And these is some notepads. So I really like the way that turned out and it just sits just like that and I think it's you know a really good fun card I am trying to um, you know kinda step my game up with cards and do some more creative cards instead of the you know the same plain cards um, to kinda get away from you know that so thank you guys so much for watching please leave a comment let me know um, what you think of my card and as always thank you so much for tuning in and stopping by talk to you guys later bye